Hey guys, Alex here again. Uh, this is my second video I'm making using Google SketchUp, and uh, I'm actually going to be talking about perspective vision in this one. This is a quick little 3D uh, model that I made showing how the sun uh, travels parallel to the ground, but due to our perspective vision, we see it rise and set. So, uh, a, a, a first a good example to give is um, like if you were an ant and you were in a huge parking lot, you would see a horizon because you're so tiny. Whereas a human being in that same parking lot wouldn't see the same horizon, because or it would be much further away. Uh, whether no matter what the shape of the Earth is, your sight will only give you a dome of vision. It's called perspective vision, and there's a vanishing point. And so there's a lot to learn about that. Um, anyway, so here's the animation that I made um, with sunrises and sunsets. So here we go. We have our observ observer down here, and she is looking at the sun and watching it rise, reach zenith, which is the highest point overhead, and then set in the west. So this would be east, and this would be west over here as it sets. Um, and she sees the sunset over here, here let me pause it she sees the sunset down there but in reality the sun's actually over there so if we go to where she, she is over here let's get through there there she is there's a little painter there's another little thing I'm going to show you here in a second there you are and now we can watch the we can watch the sunset again so uh I don't mess this up. Oh, I messed it up. Oh well. Anyway, so from her perspective, she sees the sun setting. At, even though the sun is going far away, she sees the sun as if it's setting. So this is where she is, our little observer, right in the center, and she's observing the sunset, even though the sun is is on the other side. And so this is kind of a hard thing for a lot of people to imagine. So I tried to make this uh, little 3D model to kind of help me imagine it um, because, you know, my third eye can only see so much. And, uh, and then, of course, to help others imagine it as well. So let's see if we can get that shot here. No. There it goes. Anyway, so another good... Uh, Come on, back it up. Another good um, example is a person in a hot air balloon observing an airplane pass overhead. Now, uh, if you're in a, if you're from our perspective, you can blatantly see that the airplane is parallel to the ground. And sorry for my really crappy drawing here. I just made it real quick. Uh, the airplane itself. Uh, this would be like the exhaust, and uh, not chemtrail, but like the exhaust. And you can see that it's it's parallel to the ground. But if you were this guy right here, inside of inside of it, um, inside of the hot air balloon, when you're when you're looking at the airplane approach you, when it gets close, it appears as though it's rising, and then it appears to be highest overhead during zenith. Dang it, Bobby! Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. It, it appears to be highest overhead during zenith, and then will appear to set as it moves away. Now, that wasn't really a great example, but uh, but it does give you an idea of perspective and how perspective uh, dictates what we see around us. And so this was a this was a thing that I was actually working on and uh, trying to show that if you're an observer down here looking at the sun. Uh, it could it very well, the sun could very well be parallel to the ground and we would see the exact same thing so for someone to say that sunrises and sunsets proves this or proves that it really doesn't prove anything because it's it's equilibrium it can be it can be either or so uh anyway this is the second video i made on perspective vision and uh if you have any ideas maybe something not too difficult let me know it's my quick little five-minute video. Have a great day.